It's uh, Mike here, Cordish Noise and Camping. Just thought I'd bring you along for a bit of a bit of an unboxing, really. Um, it's a little little thing I've been wanting for a long time. After buying, after getting my GoPro for Christmas, um, I've really enjoyed using it. It takes some cracking pictures and video. Um, but the only downside to it I found was that the um, microphone being built in wasn't that brilliant. Um, you see people with videos, I'm not criticising anybody's videos by the way, but um, it's just a little thing that I've got. It's that when you're moving the camera around, you get like this creaking noise and it was driving me mad. And... I looked at different ways of um, connecting microphones and that to it via the via the side ports. Um, there are one or two you can buy, and they just plug straight into the side. Uh, lavaliers type, um, and they just go in the side of the port there. But. Um, I fancy something like I fancy something on the Bluetooth um, sort of angle, and I looked into it, and um, Removu, who I found, do a really good system. Um, it's not cheap. It was a shade under seventy pounds, Greatest British pounds, um, and they've only just come out. They haven't been in this country very long. I think um, they started showing up on Amazon from about February, I think. Maybe late January, February. Um, obviously, there are other places you can buy these things. Um, auction sites and what have you. But I preferred to buy it from Amazon because it was such a... £70 was quite a lot of money. Um, and I wanted... To know I could send it back if I needed to, so <clears throat> so I'll bring you around and I'll I'll show you the product, unbox it. I have unboxed it and I've used it, but I'll we'll just go through the motions, and um, I'll show you what it's all about. So this is the unit in question. It's a Bluetooth microphone for GoPro. Uh, you get the M1. I think that's the M1 and the A1. That is the receiver, and that is obviously the microphone. It does actually look quite big, but I'll get out in a minute and just show you how small it is. It's it's not minute. It is bigger than normal um, clip-on mics, but then the advantages outweigh that, I think, and I'll go through those in a minute. But um, it's really nicely packaged. Um, it shows you exactly what's in the box at the back. Um, you've got the mic, the cover your windshield you get a swivel cradle clip another swivel cradle clip the a1 a connector you get um usb charging cables for both because obviously the um the m1 and the a1 both have got internal batteries they don't draw anything off the gopro battery and i'll show you that in a minute um it is a water proof even the microphone as shown in the picture you can so you have your gopro on your surfboard if you do surfing with the waterproof housing um the microphone in the waterproof cover and it works i've tried it i've tested both and you get a really good um audio quality even when it's in 
the waterproof plastic case and I'll show you that now so what do we get inside the box so we'll, we'll open up the box now <clears throat> so here is the Bluetooth receiver transmitter and the microphone and the, you also get everybody's doing these don't they now Apple um, GoPro you'll get stickers stickers for everything um, must read it says so I assume I must read that because it said must read and here is your pamphlet um, Fra French Spanish and a few other languages there the first three pages I think is the the English how you use it all your instructions they're all there that's in the box so that's one side so that's the little Bluetooth receiver unit you get with it and obviously it's a backpack um, exactly the same size as the GoPro battery backpack same thickness identical but obviously that's the battery this has got a battery inside of it and that is charged using um, the supplied cables they, they you do get a cable for each and it is um, charged with the mini USB cable there um, so how does this fit onto the GoPro so this little ribbon comes out this is just a storage pocket so you don't lose it that comes out of there I'll set that down there this is the microphone itself we'll get that out there's that so there is the microphone and it's, it's not it's not massive obviously the GoPro is quite small but it's similar sort of footprint to the GoPro itself but that's in the case I did find it a bit fiddly removing it from the case it's um it, it can be a little bit tricky so what I tend to do or I have done at, the, at, at this point is use the one of the two swivel mounts that you get for it with it and I'll find if you just pop the um, pop that on it gives you something to hold on to and it pops right off as easy as that so when using it with the waterproof case there's a there's a waterproof seal around there and inside of here there is a very thin membrane and there's an actual setting that you can use by pushing these buttons in sequence that makes the microphone more sensitive so when you're using the waterproof cover it makes the mic more sensitive giving you better sound quality and that's the cover you get two of these this one's got the gopro mount on the back of it so you can fit it to a gopro mount and um, perhaps you have that clipped on the handlebar of your bike or onto a, a chest harness or, or, or whatever um, on top of a, a, um, a pole or a stick and you could use it like a, like a handheld microphone if you wished the other mount you get with it is this one which is the clip on mount I can get it on Come on, on you go. 
and then you can use that to clip it to your lapel or your pack or anything really I did try to use it the other day I didn't use any of the, the, the clips and what I did is I was filming in some in my living room and I just popped that in the center of the room and people were sat in chairs all around pop that on and did a bit of video in and it picked up brilliant it picked up lovely I didn't have it in the case but I just used this with a windshield you do get a windshield with this as well obviously I don't think it will fit over the over the, the case but it does fit over the mic and on the back of the mic there is also a little slider the same as that and you can just clip you can just clip your clips on the back of that like that and exactly the same GoPro mount and the lapel clip if you so wish to use it so the only thing I found with this with the windshield was if you don't keep an eye on it it will come off and you will lose it so the next time I use it what I'm going to do is I am going to put elastic band around here just so it doesn't come off because when it was rubbing on your clothes it doesn't take much and it will pop off and I found that out the, the hard way I had to walk back about half a mile and luckily I, it was in the road and I found it um, but that's the only downside I've found so far so don't lose your wind mic and it does work very very well <clears throat> so you get your wind mic you get a lapel clip a microphone and that swivels also they both do so you can have it whatever way you want they both swivel quite nicely you get the microphone, you get a Bluetooth unit, a waterproof case, and your connection ribbon all in the box together. How does it fit? So you got your normal GoPro with your normal GoPro battery. Obviously, with this, you cannot put a backpack on and then add the other unit because although it uses the connection port there is no wiring there at all um, all the information is sent through the ribbon cable <clears throat> so what I did is I went out and I bought some spare batteries and the batteries are the, the batteries I bought are these from these people um, there's the website so you can't use a backpack so all you do is you make sure you've got a fully charged battery GoPro battery inside connect it on the side door and you push it home there isn't the only way this is now going to connect because there's nothing on that on that connector at all it's just plastic you then got to use your tab and your tab fits on like so and that tab is now flush with the body of the GoPro and with the extended back waterproof door which is the one I've got on at the moment completely sealed I can then put the GoPro in, close the back door, and now I'm going to get Bluetooth assisted 
uh, microphone and the camera is completely encased using the waterproof back door the only downside to using the waterproof back door is you cannot turn it on and off at the rear there is an on and off button at the rear and unless you've got the open back one on there you can't turn it on or off that is the only downside to that turn it on is easy flick a switch see a blue a red flashing light uh, push and hold the back of the microphone red flashing light and then once you've got two blues it is now paired this this paired like this out of the box but um if you look at the instruction manual it does say to hold down the pairing buttons if you have a problem and it should pair within seconds and it did um the microphone does look a bit smaller now it's out of his casing so it's um i didn't find it um got in the way or i didn't even know i had it on i had it on when i was testing it but um that is now all ready to go fully functioning and paired via bluetooth the only thing to do now is to show you some footage of what the sound quality is like and um I'll put some of that on there now for you to listen to and I'm sure you'll agree with me it's a vast improvement to what you get using the GoPro's onboard microphone vast improvement if you want a last look at the box it's the Bluetooth microphone for GoPro by Remover it's the M1A1 So this bit of footage is with the GoPro and the GoPro microphone. Um, all I've done is I've opened the back door um, just to give you an idea of what it sounds like just using the GoPro mic. Right there, we're on the uh, Lumovu setup. This is the um, microphone with the windshield on. Um, the waterproof cover is not on, it's just the windshield on top of the microphone. And uh, this is what it sounds like um, with just the windshield on. Uh, take the windshield off for you. Take, take the windshield off for you um, it might help with the popping a little bit but that's the the naked wind, uh, microphone without the windshield as well so now we've gone back to the um, the waterproof case um, I haven't turned up the sensitivity yet it's still um, on the regular setting and I'll turn up the sensitivity uh, by holding down the pairing button on the back of the unit on the back of the GoPro and then what happens is you get the um, the light goes blue and red then you know the sensitivity has been turned up so I'll just do that now and I'll bring you back and show you what that sounds like this is the uh, test for the microphone in the waterproof body with the sensitivity turned up you might get a bit of squeaking because my fingers are all over it I'll pop it down again but that's what it sounds like with the sensitivity sound up uh, turned up and uh, you can probably hear the difference between one and the other so I hope that's helped you out a little bit anybody thinking about getting the Bluetooth, remover Bluetooth microphone for their GoPro you know it's it's a bit of an investment it's just shy of 70 Great British Pounds on Amazon I went for Amazon because um, 
you can buy it on um, other auction sites and uh, from other sellers but I thought well at least with Amazon I got somewhere to send it if I need to send it back for some for any reason whatsoever you get some information you get a must read card basically it's a get out of jail card for the people who built this the removal guys and it's just saying that because it's Bluetooth it might be affected by wireless services LANs things like that so it's just to make you aware of that you know sinking sometimes might be a problem because of uh, radio waves microwaves whatever but just a bit of information from them information book um, all these on the Removu uh, website you can uh, download the uh, instruction manual if you so lose it if you want to have a look before buying it's on the website as well uh, one other little thing you'll have to buy like I showed you earlier was some spare batteries um, because obviously you can't use your backpack with this so at the moment there is two pitfalls one is the microphone windshield will come off quite easily put elastic band around it that will hold it that will stop you losing it I had to walk it an extra half a mile backtracking my steps to find it when I lost mine I did find it happy days you know take all for that uh, the other downside obviously you can't you cannot use your GoPro battery backpacks when you've got this system on and you're using it um, so I hope that's helped a few people out who were thinking about buying one of these or looking into one of these I really like it I didn't want to go down the road of having a wire sticking out the camera body potentially inviting a place for moisture and water to get into the camera I wanted to completely seal the camera up and using this system completely seals it up and if it's raining and I've got the microphone and the camera in their waterproof enclosures all I've got to do is turn on the sensitivity to the waterproof microphone housing and then happy day so I haven't got to worry people who surf swim um, are in a dusty environment that want to make videos this is ideal um, and it's not going to get wet I can't find on their website whether they sell any of the bits and pieces separate if you lose anything um, but I'm sure if you contacted them they would send you something through if you'd lost for argument's sake um, your housing for your microphone or it broke or the electronic tab um, mini USB tab that connects the GoPro to the um, Removo Bluetooth um, backpack the backpack by the way guys will also connect to any Bluetooth microphone apparently according to Removo you can use third party microphones so if you don't like their microphone you can use your own Bluetooth microphone there you are I hope that's uh, been of use to some people um, don't forget any comments um, just put them in the box below if you like give us a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down that's what the thumbs down are for um, please subscribe share and all that good stuff and above all don't forget stay Cornish see you later guys cheers bye Thank you.